my egg is looking good my egg is looking good like let's just cover that a little bit a little bit my lid cannot even cover this massive walk this is it doesn't make logic but this is this is what this is the sense that goes on in my head I, what I always aim for is for that little film do you see that little white cast just on top of the yolk that's what you want because then it's nice and runny and then you pull it up okay it's not you can, you can't see it moving but it's jiggling a little bit this is what you call a fail like literally look look at this look 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 Ew. seriously like it's is it even worth life look at just what, what a fail this is my breakfast this is um this is the failed egg attempt and these are the two good attempts <laughs> But you can't lie to me that this food is not the lifestyle. Look at this breakfast. I don't have this every day. It's not every day fry egg and avocado and little salsa mix. This is nice. I'm waking up checking my bank account. Online. Tell me why. Tell me why. why tell me why I had a heart attack. Tell me why people are doing this to me early in the wee hour in the early hours of the morning. Tell me, please. I go into my bank account and 79 pounds has been taken off my account by Amazon Prime and 15 quid has been taken off my account by something called Complete Savings. It turns out I obviously signed up to these um, whatever schemes, I don't know, online stuff that give you free stuff and you do a free trial and I forgot to unsubscribe and then they took money out of my account. 79 pounds is a lot of money. So now I'm forced to enjoy Amazon Prime. I'm forced to enjoy what it has to offer. Anyone? And complete savings, I don't even know what that's about to be honest. Why? Why? Gone are the days of me subscribing to online subscription stuff. Blah blah. No, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I managed to get ready. Today I'm going to spend the day with my friend who's getting married. And we're gonna go shopping. Well, not really shopping. This is what we've been doing. We're gonna go try out some foundations. Like when I tell you this girl doesn't wear foundation, she doesn't wear makeup at all. Nothing. No lipstick, no lip gloss, no mascara, like nothing at all. And we're gonna go and try out some basically some makeup foundations on all the makeup stores, maybe in Oxford Street. Maybe grab some samples because what's the point in buying a foundation for somebody who doesn't wear foundation? We're gonna get some samples in all the different department stores. I'll go to John Lewis and be like, Lancome, can I have the tent idol? And then we'll probably go to House of Fraser and go to Lancome again and get another sample. <laughs> Is this weather actually being legit serious? Are we doing this right now? Train is finally here um i managed to be able to make it even with all this rain but can we just see look that's my umbrella it says hashtag cats and dogs i'm not superstitious <laughs> So we were trying to find my, in my train and look at how empty it is. There's no one here. And there's no one here, which is what I like. What I like. This is the good thing about traveling in the afternoon to London. Street, yeah, we've got some wasabi. I couldn't find a place to sit because there's too many people in Oxford Street, and there's no seats in, in wasabi because they know they can't cater to that many people. So we came upstairs to John Lewis. 
and literally everyone here is having probably tea and comforts and we're here with our <laughs> literally <laughs> mental <Bento> Roman <laughs> We're supposed to go stay quiet and unassuming, so I'm gonna go. Bill are now going back. We're actually gonna do. We're actually gonna do what we came here to do, which is to try on some makeup. So like, I'm still trying to get the hang of this whole vlogging thing. I might just meant to keep on like speaking to the camera the whole time. What if I have nothing to say? What do I have nothing to say? She, she's acting like she's shy. Why are you acting like shy? Because I am shy. An embarrassment. Can <laughs> we just assess the awesomeness of this cubicle? What is this? Let's get in! <laughs> oh my gosh, it spins! What, really? Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're going wow, right. this is so fun! <laughs> I just sit in here all day! Okay. <coughs> if only there was a button where right, you yeah. move I think um, but it stops moving, so I don't know if we broke it or not. Um, no, yeah, maybe we should get out. No, I think we should. What does this one say eight? Guys, Six, literally, nine, like, nine. this is 18. Can you tell, tell them the price, Camille? Tell them the price. How much is this? 8,699. That, that says 18K, though. Why is, it, why is it different? Let's go with the 18K one. Why is this one bigger and this one small? This thing can pay for. Two years of a degree. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised if you did that to be honest. <laughs> Say that again. I ain't moving. Seriously, where are these slash puppies? I'm on my way back home right now. Um, Camille's already gone home too. But literally, we went to Fashion Fair and I wanted to try. You know, they have these thick foundations which are really thick. And you know, I said Camille doesn't wear any makeup. She doesn't wear any makeup and she doesn't like a lot of makeup on her face. So this guy proceeded to basically. I wanted, I wanted to go there and put the makeup on Camille myself because I know how she likes it. But the makeup artist on. <laughs> On fashion fair took the stick and literally just plastered it on her face and I was like I just I just told him like she doesn't like that much makeup but that he didn't listen to me so he starts to blend it and whatever and he didn't even blend it like nicely so it just looked really cakey really after he put it on she wiped it off um, uh, when he was working with another artist and I think he saw something so he got a bit sour afterwards like I would just I would just ask him for stuff I don't know like you know I don't know just making small chat and I was smiling at him and he wouldn't smile back like he was proper vexed at me I think he was vexed at me because when I put makeup on her afterwards when she wiped it off when I put it on nicely took my time yeah it looked nice and she loved it it was fun vlogging I guess I might do this a little bit more. I think I enjoyed this more than making regular videos. And I don't know why I'm puffing and puffing. I don't know why I'm doing that. Thanks for joining me on my vlog.